because there is a small nuclear bomb in the stomach. The inmates try to use a magnet to extract it. As the bomb slowly moves inside the body, the eight-foot-tall strongman trembles in pain. They are on the verge of success, but the bomb gets stuck in the throat at the last moment. Just in this critical moment, a fellow we may use as a high maneuver to immediately save him. The bomb is instantly spit out. Then they use the same method to remove all the bombs from the inmates' stomachs and attach them to the pipes. They then pretend to fight and create the illusion of a riot. The warden, seeing this on the surveillance, immediately detonates the bombs. Seeing the large holes on the pipes, the group stops fighting and quickly enters the pipes to prepare for escape. The warden immediately sees through their plan and releases high temperature steam. Yes, man, I thought this was the way out of here. It is the way out! As the high temperature steam gets closer and closer, they can only return and escape from the other end. Unexpectedly, they are also blocked by the steam, and John is almost burned in just one second. Knowing that escape is hopeless, he surrenders against the obstacles. Then he is killed. After killing John, the robots launch a indiscriminate attack in the pipes. Fortunately, Blank has already instructed the inmates to hide on the other side. Seeing the slowly rotating mechanical arms, Blank decides to forcefully drag him in. With the help of others, he easily kills him. All of this is seen by the warden, who will never allow anyone to escape from his prison. So he mobilizes a large number of robot soldiers, but this cannot stop Blank, because he still needs to save his wife, who is kept by the warden. His wife is about to give birth, and giving birth means death. In the future world, Earth's resources are severely scarce. Therefore, the upper class has established a law to control the population, which is to restrict ordinary people from getting pregnant. If they accidentally get pregnant, they have to give birth to the child and kill the mother, allowing the child to live in place of the mother. Blank was originally a special forces officer. Because he did not take proper contraceptive measures, his wife accidentally became pregnant. Such behavior was considered a serious crime at the time. So they were imprisoned in the cruelest intelligent prison in the world. The prison is located 10,000 meters underground, with missiles patrolling up and down, ready to execute prisoners at any time. There is also an artificial intelligence, monitoring them 24 hours a day. When new prisoners enter, they will be implanted with tracking bombs. The tracking bombs have two modes. The first is the pain mode for reminders and the second is the legal mode. Once the person carrying the bomb crosses the red line, they will be killed. So far, no one has survived and left the prison alive. A boy named Nick is locked up with Blank in the same cell. Because of his handsome appearance, he is targeted by the malicious John as soon as he enters the cell. Night night sweetie. For going to sleep, a man named Lincoln tells them not to dream. Confused, Blank has no idea how dreams can be controlled. But soon after falling asleep, Blank dreams of his wife. Jess, the two are in an intimate moment, completely unaware that the scene in his dream has been scanned. The warden in the control room watches with great interest. At the happiest moment, Blank is suddenly awakened by the pain mode. Unauthorized thinking processes are considered violations. The next day during labor, Blank sees Nick being bullied and goes to help. Unexpectedly, the person turns out to be the prison bully. Mike, with just one encounter, Blank is thrown 800 meters away and has no time to fight back. The three of them are then locked in a laser cage. Whoever admits fault first will be released, otherwise they have to keep standing without eating or drinking for seven days and seven nights. Nick can't hold on anymore and collapses, but is burned by the laser while staggering. Unable to bear it, Blank takes full responsibility for himself. He is then taken to the warden's office, where he sees Lincoln who is shaving the warden. As a punishment for Blank's first offense, the warden tortures him for three hours in the pain mode. Before returning to the cell, Mike comes over again looking for trouble and intends to disfigure Blank with a laser. Fortunately, Blank is a former Special Forces soldier, although he is not physically superior. He uses his excellent combat skills to fight back against Mike. They fight all the way to the teleportation bridge. The warden, who likes to cause trouble, immediately retracts the bridge. Mike nearly falls off, but Blank pulls him up just in time. 